on reports of menacing looking clowns. The nationwide trend or prank really has police being pulled away from keeping their communities safe. Kyra 7's Henry Rossoff talked to law enforcement across three counties. They told Henry they need clown pranks to stop and they need our help to evaluate what's just a joke gone wrong and what's the real deal. It's kind of shocking that it's in, you know, our backyard. Yeah, it's definitely disturbing. It's not okay. When we showed people pictures of the creepy clown spotted near the Green Lake jogging path, many told us if they saw him, they would probably call 911. And that's exactly what's happening. These calls are taxing our resources. Law enforcement around Western Washington say they're getting dozens of calls about the clowns or just about pictures of them posted online. At Tahoma High School in Covington, a school resource officer confronted a student who showed up with a clown mask following social media posts that showed a clown with a gun. The officer had his firearm at his side but holstered it when he realized the student was not a threat. And Wenatchee is adding armed security to homecoming following threats posted in the bathroom. Other schools from Snohomish County to Pierce County have posted warnings like this one from Seattle, reading in part, we are working closely with Seattle Police Department to investigate all concerns related to this social media trend. We do have an obligation to investigate, especially the ones at the school, to make sure they're not credible, but we're using an incredible amount of resources. And Cindy West with the King County Sheriff's Office and Ed Troyer with the Pierce County Sheriff's Office say each time their deputies have to investigate one of these situations, prank or not, it's slowing down response times to actual crime calls like burglaries and car break-ins. In the last couple days, all of our school resource people, some of our patrol people, some of our detectives, are doing nothing but working these clown sightings, these threats that are coming in. Officers are asking people dressing up just to stop it. And until it goes away, they ask the public to carefully evaluate any situation before picking up the phone. If they're on your private property or doing something suspicious other than wearing a clown outfit, then call us. Henry Rossoff, Cairo 7 News.